now i am discussing you the problems where we will find the integration by using some trigonometric changes evaluate integration of square root of 1 plus sin 2x dx so very first step we need to think what transformation is possible for this part that is 1 plus sin 2x 1 plus sin 2x we can understand it is integration of 1 plus sin 2x dx now 1 plus sin 2x can be written as in place of 1 we can write sin square x plus cos square x and in place of sin 2x this is sin 2x we can use 2 sin x cos x so ultimately 1 plus sin 2x becomes sin square x plus cos square x plus 2 sin x cos x now this part sin square x plus cos square x plus 2 sin x cos x can be written as sin x plus cos x whole square this becomes sin x plus cos x whole square so ultimately in place of 1 plus sin 2x we can write sin x plus cos x whole square but its entire is what the root this become integration of root of sin x plus cos x whole square dx so this become whole square and root cancelled we have obtained we need to evaluate the integration of sin x plus cos x we know that the integration of sin x is minus cos x and integration of cos x is sin x so we can say this result is equal to sin x minus cos x plus integrating constant c so this way we can evaluate the integration of the root of 1 plus sin 2x dx now if i talk to you about the second part what changes are required that i am going to explain you the question is second part is that cos 2x upon sin square x into cos square x in place of cos 2x we can replace a suitable formula that is cos square x minus sin square x there are four values of cos 2x one of the value is cos square x minus sin square x second is 2 cos square x minus 1 another is 1 minus 2 sin square x last is 1 minus 10 square x upon 1 plus 10 square x so ultimately in place of cos 2x we have replaced this and this is divided by sin square x into cos square x dx if we do the isolation meaning by the cos square x divided by sin square x into cos square x minus sin square x is divided by same that is sin square x into cos square x whole dx so by doing so this cos square and cos square get cancelled we left with 1 upon sin square which is known as cosec square x dx minus here sin square and sin square cancelled we left with 1 upon cos square 1 upon cos square is known as sec square x dx so sec square x dx minus integration of cosec square x dx minus integration of sec square x dx in fact this is the differentiation of cortex if negative is here so cosec square x dx can be written as minus cortex because the derivative of cortex is minus cosec square x so integration of minus cosec square x will be cortex so integration of positive cosec square x is minus cortex minus you know the derivative of tan x is sec square x that's why anti derivative of sec square x will be what tan x this is also listed you in the various formulae so this is the answer that is the integration of the second part